What is going on, lunatics? Guys, guess what? I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right. Uh, I gave you exactly where Luna Classic was going to go, told you exactly what the chart was going to look like, and guess what? Here we are. Now, uh, there's a couple things that we'll point out. We're going to talk about the chart. we got a little bit of news to go over. we got a new project, old project, new project, whatever you call it, that is still in development that I'm pretty excited about. So we're going to pop in on that too. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. And if you are interested, share this with as many people as you know. And uh, let's get some people talking about Luna Classic. So let's kick this off. All right, first of all, we're going to get into Commonwealth. We're going to skip some of the news. There's not really anything as far as news goes, really, other than internal stuff, which we'll get into in a, in a few moments. But uh, there is one proposal up here that is... Uh, on tap to increase the maximum number of validators. Validators are the people who are doing the voting. Those people, they're not real happy about sharing the wealth, if you will. So uh, I would say that this is a very difficult thing in order to get over a hump, if you will. So uh, I would be interested to see how this would play out. They seem to be really secure with a hundred. And you know, even somebody like Jesus is Lord who has two and multiple others who have multiple validators. Uh, they're not interested in anybody getting in here and sharing the cheddar, if you will. And again, all nodes, the, the biggest voter, the biggest stakeholder, those are the people that probably won't do very much at all all because this is their cottage industry they're charging these validators thousands of dollars per month to host on their servers they are incentivized to keep things the way that they are so uh, i'm certainly going to be interested to see what happens here let me know what you think in the comments down below but let's move on so mba continues to soar if you look at this one right here we're going to talk about this one this is going to be the one that we're going to be talking about but if you kind of zoom out here not a lot of trade volume right However, it's had a nice little breakout. It's up a couple hundred percent in the last week or two weeks or so. So it's been having a, a great time. Now, the liquidity on it, about 23,000 market cap, half a million. You know, some of these things go to uh, millions of dollars in market cap. And, and just like Tron, remember, I told you this a couple days ago, just like Tron that had an explosion of meme coins, there's going to be an explosion of Luna Classic meme coins at some point. Juris Protocol, LMT, Garuda, Roddy, MBA, they're all going to have these big moves because it's inevitable that people will come in uh, when this bull market really kicks off and start to find this ecosystem and a lot of trade volume that'll go along with it. Um, as far as governance, uh, we've got the migrate contract over here, which is now up for uh, a vote, 12 1, 2, 3. Uh, and that's the upgrade to the Cosmowasm. So um, if you're interested, get in there and vote now. 33 votes, yes. Uh, four, no with veto. And then three abstains. Uh, oddly enough, uh, we're getting... The, the the trying to stifle the innovation if you will uh so interesting to see how that's playing out um like i told you guys it would play out i guess would be the the, the appropriate thing to say i told you so anyway again let me know what you think about about this do you think that we should upgrade to the cosmowasm the, the newest version and you know make something happen here uh, continue to evolve and continue to uh upgrade I and mean, that's really what this comes down to let's look at the price all right so uh we are still in a problem zone let me zoom in here to give you the breakdown here now i told you guys we have to close a candle above nine if we don't close a candle above nine there is a possibility that we break back down to previous levels now so far we've gone up as high as 95.79 but we've not broken above nine for a full candle yet so if we get a little motivation uh, going in the next few hours through the rest of today, maybe we can get back above it, but we've got to close a candle above in order for that breakout to happen. There's going to be AI, there's going to be a lot of people watching this chart, waiting for an opportunity, an entry point, if you will. If we use this as support, then the next move would be an upward move. Now, without that, then people are going to get tired because they're holding their bag too long and we're going to see a drop back down into this range. And again, with this test being on this line right here and the tiny little breakout that we had, most likely scenario is going to be a test back down here. But this is based on whether or not we close above this 9,000 candle. If we get that motivation, then we're on our way up to a higher or should be on our way up to a higher. And by the way, 
a lot of good information coming out in crypto. So, you know, we should see positive momentum. Doesn't mean that we won't have dips. It doesn't mean it won't go down. We're down $17 billion on the day, but, uh, you know, we've had a nice little pump for a couple of days so far. Uh, you can see right here, we've had seven straight green candle days. Uh, nine of the last 10 were green candles. Uh, depending on how this one closes, that might continue. So a, a nice little upward momentum that we'd like to see continue. As far as volume goes, up to 38 million, although the market cap is down a little bit on the day. Uh, same thing over here, 127 million in volume. USTC had a big upward move. Now, when it comes to USTC, that was not sustained. I told you guys, you know, it's very difficult uh, to sustain. But when we start to move out here, uh, I think, you know, if we just kind of zoom out and we start to get this uh, volume node here and we really kind of look at it and we break it out, Cryptonomy is giving away from $100 to $10,000. To participate, all you have to do is follow the three Telegram groups, follow Cryptonomy on X, and make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months to join the launch pool by August 20. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up today. Also, I'm making another move here. You guys know I've been a fan of API 3. Well, the granddaddy of API 3 should be considered to be Link. So I brought in 582 Link. I'm going to stake that right now for six months at a 29.6% yield. That's going to give me a pretty good increase. So I'm confirming I got my Link right now. I'm going to get about a 30% off of that and now the granddaddy of all this is the launch pool the launch pool is where it all happens i'm gonna use 0.4 bitcoin in the bronze package that's up to 5x returns and we're gonna hit the continue right here and we got a whole new contract guys try cryptonomy dance today that's how you earn yield then you will see right here the biggest volume node is right where we are right now right right here and if you look over here you can see that's exactly where we we spike to now if we get if we break through that then you're talking about two and a half cents and then another big move that'll probably take us up to three and a half cents that's uh the the next big if there is a big impulse move it's gonna be a big impulse move up into that range right there so and it's 3.6 cent uh but it's going to be what the U.S. market does. I'm not sure how the U.S. market is going to react yet. So, you know, it might take a little while before we, we see anything. We're starting to see a, a bit of a dump from the U.S. market because that's what the U.S. market does is they dump on crypto constantly. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's their thing. So look for some correction here and, you know, we'll see whether or not this maintains. Also, Luna, we should talk about Luna. I don't know what you're doing with your Luna. I haven't converted mine over yet. I'm just kind of waiting to see what will happen here. Uh, but, that, you know, those burns are, are going to happen before it should be the end of september that we see massive amounts of luna luna classic and uh, USTC get burned in one fell swoop as all of these wallets are are closed out for good meaning that uh, that's going to be a huge amount of supply no longer in circulation so uh what what i would suspect here is that we're going to see a nice big move on luna too with the idea that that's going to happen and if i'm zooming out here and we're not going to spend too much time on this, but if I zoom out here, then the question would be, where is it going to go? And, and you know, when you break it out into this longer time frame and you look at it from this range over here, uh, then you start to get an idea that maybe $2 is going to be a, a fair range here, but somewhere in the $75 to $1. Now, I told you guys I think $17 was going to be the, the end of the year for Luna. That is no longer valid at all because of what's happened with Luna and because of the fact they're closing down. Uh, there's no there's no end to their lawsuit that goes to the benefit of the project so uh this is coming down and we're probably looking at the end of luna now i could be wrong because if the community takes over and they start to build on it and the right community steps in and you know i mean something could change this is not an abandoned chain like luna classic was but same you know what i mean so we'll see whether or not this uh continues to do anything at all or not if you haven't already, uh, I would suggest you go look at Happy Caddy Crypto's video, Lunk Burn Update, uh, ma Massive Lunk Burn Timeline Exposed. So uh, he's, te he's telling you what, what I'm telling you right now. You know, we got the information from the courts. So September 30 is supposed to be the burn date, or they could have an extension of a month, and you might see it take a little bit longer. Now, what do the burns look like currently? Up to 308 million, which means... Trade volume has increased. We're getting better and better and better as we go. That's a good thing to see. If you want to do some risk-based gaming, make sure that you go to Terra Casino. They are a sponsor of the channel. You know, the reason that I'm able to bring you all of this stuff is because of them. 
and because of Terraport Finance. These guys are helping me every single day. And you can come over here to Terra Casino, sign up, start trading today, use Luna Classic, Luna. Um, hey, by the way, if you have Luna, and everybody who holds Lunk for a long time has some Luna in their Prime Station wallet, come over here and play with some Luna. Uh, that would be an, an easy way over there for you to do something with those tokens, by the way, and then get them back into this ecosystem. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So let me know what you think about that, by the way, in the description down below. But you got Bitcoin, you got Ethereum, B BNB, BUSD, uh, Polygon Matic, you've got Litecoin, uh, USTC, USDT, uh, Dogecoin, several others. Uh, all you have to do is come over here, log in, sign up, and then you can go check it out for yourself. Also, if you're doing some trading, Terraport dot finance is your place to go now um you know i've staked mine for a little while not a lot but i've staked mine for for a while here uh we got five thousand. and by the way uh there's only two slots currently available the 90 day and the 14 day that's how many people are staking this is starting to become lively so uh and, and if not then consider doing some yield farming over here. Um, if you're interested, I would suggest that you do something with a large pool, but uh, you can do whatever it is that you want. I don't have any update on Rocket. They're still working on it. Uh, we should be getting some tokens uh, dis distributed at some point pretty soon. Now, to talk about the project for the day, that is the MBA token. So if you are interested, uh, this is, there. there is a game. I'm going to show you a little bit of a short um, uh, video of what it is, but they made a post just a little while ago. As we prepare our mission to reward MBA holders and Lunk Burn, it seems like we've already started uh, before we even left the station. Thanks to Stakebin for updating our trading contract below. Uh, Moon Baron's army is now ranked seventh on all chain transactions for Lunk Burning. You can see that right here. So uh, they've done uh, quite a bit of burning just recently. Um, and also, this is what their game is going to look like. Just to get an idea here. This is very early in development. Now, when I talked to these guys, I want to say this was early May. When we talked in early May, this is what the game looked like at that point. Uh, I asked, um, you know, can I have, I don't know how stuff is going to be done there, but if stuff was going to be done with tokenization, uh, it, then can I have some tokens and can I get access so that I can start playing start I can show you know show you guys and you know upgrade use whatever tokens that they give me in order to upgrade the 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 armor you know whatever it is and the game was not available yet but you can see right here uh, Mars is ours is what it's called and it looks to me to be some kind of you know Mars mining sort of game. You, when I look over there, and you can see there in the background there, it's kind of a city structure, but presumably those are miners or harvesters of some port, some sort. Um, and guys, for, if you don't know me, um, I am all about tower defense game and like space mining and stuff like that. One of my favorite games ever, Star Wars Galaxy. And it was because of the mining and the ecosystem that was involved. Not because the gameplay. Gameplay kind of sucked, really. But the depth of uh, the mining and, and stuff like that, I'm just fantastic to me so um you know, we'll see what this looks like but as you can see right now uh for for a basic level this is uh this is a pretty good start so um i think you should certainly check this out now total staking over here five million mba uh the total staker is 12 stakers so you know what we're looking for is to continue to improve and increase upon that so if you haven't already go look at mba and remember you can go to coinhall.org in order to check that out just go to the terra classic chain mba lunk pairing and get yourself a bag of that right now and again we just saw that a few minutes ago over 500,000 market cap 23,000 liquidity now it did retrace just a tiny bit uh to uh 22,000 liquidity and about a 505,000 market cap but um you know these guys have had a 3x in very short order and that's why I tell you that it's so important for you to just go over here and give these guys a chance like go in and just get yourself a little bag of some of these cryptos uh, in this this lunk ecosystem because you'd never know when you get that big explosive move you know it's went from a, from a penny uh, in since the 14th i want to say so about 12 days it went from a penny all the way up to about three and a half cents so i mean what are you waiting for you know what i mean like you're you're gonna miss them you're gonna keep missing them and by the way you can use your luck in order to do this trade so there's no reason for you not to. So, um, but that's it, guys. Go check out the NBA token. Go check out any one of these tokens. You're gonna do yourself a favor in this regard. You're looking for a, you're looking for a hundred X. We're all looking for it. We're all looking for a hundred X. We're looking for a thousand X. We're looking for one of these crazy cryptos to just go absolutely crazy. And I, I assure you, people are going to find Luna Classic, and they're going to find this quote unquote zombie chain that's been brought back to life. And when they find it, they're gonna be excited about it. 
and we're gonna see some kind of crazy, crazy run. Don't believe me. Go look for yourself. Go see how these things work out. You didn't think anything was going to happen with Tron the other day. You didn't think anything was going to happen with Solana. You thought it was dead. Everybody thought it was dead. It was down to like $10 a token. It's $160 right now. And it's got one of the biggest ecosystems in all of crypto. So, you know, guys, it's only a matter of time. But if you don't believe me, that's okay. Um, you've been wrong before. But not me. You know why? Because my name is Bleeves, and I am always right. So you guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.